Josh third in the Big Ten, defeating Mark Bowes from Michigan. And that was payback for Strayer, who lost to Bowes earlier in the tournament. So Jake Strayer, Penn State takes third, and Mark Bowes of Michigan takes fourth. Here we are, deciding first and second, going to overtime. This first minute is sudden victory. First point in the first minute here will end it. And if we remain tied, we will continue with tiebreakers. But it might be over here. Tom Clum trying to finish off Mac Ryder. Mac Ryder is called the funk. He's got that ankle. Oh, he's got to pull it up over his head. Boy, Clum could have finished cleanly. That's ugly. That's potentially dangerous. Ryder gets a break, but that's a beautiful attack by Clum, and that's what he needs to do again if he's going to win this match. Oh, Doug Ryder shouting out encouragement to his son. He just dodged a major bullet there from Tom Clum. 30 seconds left to go here in this first session of sudden victory. No setup there. Clum didn't have a good setup. Ryder's got the underhook. That's why Ryder's good. Not going to be enough space here. He's got two underhooks. Clum needs to get out of bounds here. And he'll Ryder. intently back up and work his way out of bounds. And right. they'll have that to the center. Mac Ryder's a complete wrestler. He's good with that underhook. And he's good with his leg attacks. He's tough on top bottom. And that underhook. Oh, he's going to... Short time, short time. That's I saw it in here. Yep. They walk out of bounds. No call is made. Looks like we will get to the first set of tiebreakers here with six seconds left. Ken, we talked about this. This favors Mac Ryder with his abilities on top. It does. He's a bear on top. He's good at stopping the first move. Trades over people. He's got a good cradle. But you know Tommy Clump's going to be fired up right here. You know, he didn't pick bottom. He, he maybe he didn't pick bottom in the third period because he wasn't sure he'd get away. Let's see if he can get it here with the money's on the line. Mr. Ryder's getting intense. Hold him down. Keep him down. Well, I'm able to maneuver quickly as Ryder tries to readjust his grip and hold on to that leg. And each wrestler gets 30 seconds to see what they can do on top. They got to call stalemate there. They got to call it quick. Because they were going nowhere. He tangled him. Ryder just killed him. He killed 15 seconds right there by just grabbing an ankle. Tom Clump needs to clear his feet. He needs to get back pressure. He doesn't move. He's not going to get away. Getting away, that's too slow. Ryder's going to grab a leg if he has to. He make it think for stalling because he is stalling. But that's all he's got to do in this period. And Ryder hanging on here. And Clum showed no explosion from the bottom position. That's just surprising. They do give a stall warning here to Mack Ryder with two seconds left in the period. We'll see if that factors in. A first stall warning, just that. Now, Clum's going to have to try to ride him back. Now, remember, it's not a sudden death type situation. If Ryder gets away, Clum will go nuts. He'll go after him. He'll chase him with doubles to try to score. But hopefully, for Clum, Clum wants to try to ride him. He's got to drop down. He's got to lift him or drop down a leg. He's stalling. He's got to try to lift him. He trips him. That's good. He, you only have five seconds. Oh, nice. The leg is in. That's good for Clum. He stretches him out. That's a big deal for Clum right there. He's going to be able to ride him out here, but he's got the boots in. If they, they may stalemate it in a few seconds, but Clum has done a nice job here. There's only eight seconds left in the period. I think he might get a quick stalemate call here. Well, it looks like Tom Clum will equal what Matt Ryder did in that first set of tiebreakers, and that's extend the match a little bit further. Triple overtime. That's what I like to call this right here. Back on her feet. Winning Kate. That will win it right here. Another minute of sudden death, sudden victory, overtime here at Assembly Hall in Indiana. Trying to crown a Big Ten champ here at 133 pounds. Mack Ryder won it last year. Tom Plum wants it this year. Conditioning, baby. Who is going to get it done? Who has got the toughness when they're tired here with 45 seconds left in this second sudden victory period on the feet? The high crotch, he's got to convert it. Okay, this is where he finished earlier. Ryder's a leech. Plum has got to be careful. This is a tricky situation. He needs to step up with a foot. Remember earlier in the match, he stepped up with There it is. There it is. He needs to spin. Ryder's going to scramble like crazy, though. Oh! Look at that. Look at the Minnesota fans want to take them. But no, they start coming out the back door to Peterson. Nobody has control yet. Oh, Ryder is holding on. I think we're going to get a stalemate here. There's no two there. I hear the fans yelling. But there's no takedown here. Clum needs to elevate. He's being too conservative. He should have posted up. Stalemate. Wow. Nine seconds left to go here in this latest session of sudden victory. <laughs> Looks like we could be headed for more tiebreakers coming up. Pop a right, or that's got to be stressful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're going, we're going to go on the mat again, Jason. If you thought his stomach was turned and say midway third period, think about it now. Another set of tiebreakers for these guys. Right here, he's yelling. He's yelling right here. He is, he's, oh, my gosh. He's, he's, he's fired up. His 
Sun responds with the reversal. Oh, not yet, though. No reversal yet. No reversal yet. Tommy Clum is still in control. Even though it's a scramble, Tommy Clum's on top. There's no change of control yet. Mike McCormick, Chuck Yagla there on top of it. The referees for this 133-pound championship bout. The referees are consulted. They're, they're trying to say no, no change. Right back down. Wow. His dad wants him. He's yelling back right here. He's getting him fired up. He wants him moving. Club has got to lift here. Lift the trip. He can't stall. He's got to try to get him. Man, he's stalling. And there Jeez. is the stall warning. Again, so both wrestlers have been warned. Next one's worth a point. And the period is over. That last little flurry there happened after time expired. Yeah, that's bad though. He let up. Club's tired. He let up at the end of the period. The referees are talking. They're talking to the time guy. Time had expired, but Crumb should not let up at the end like that. He is stalling. He needed to lift him with a 30 pound. Let's see, he's got the heart to get out. You saw that. Mac Ryder's dad is going nuts. He's yelling, Mac, Mac, he wants to hold him down. The Wisconsin fans are yelling, let's go, Tommy, let's go, Tommy. These guys have been going at it for quite some time in the second set of tiebreakers now. Ryder trying to keep Plum down in the mat. Plum trying to escape, but Ryder gets his grip back. A roll from Plum, but Ryder still handles things on top with five to go. And guess what? We will continue again. All right. This could be unprecedented. Big action, I'm not sure. Holy smoke. Dan is going nuts. They're getting excited. Look at that. Look at that. He's, oh, he's calm now. The Wisconsin people are going nuts. The Michigan people, Minnesota people are going nuts. The takedown wins in here. Who is going to be tough when you're tired? The third set of a minute for sudden victory here. Trying to decide. Plum trying to get in on a single. And Ryder in denial mode again. Can't quit the Plum. He's got to stay tough here. He's got his hands locked. Ryder needs to turn his left hip in. Nope, nope, not yet. Nope, Ryder's got a good cradle here. What's with the cradle? No nope, Plum is in critical position. Oh! Now Ryder trying to get in. Both of these guys. This is good for the back oh and gosh. forth in this bump. Oh. Keep pressing, they gotta keep pressing. He's got to throw him down. Two, Ryder quit. Plum breaks Ryder. Wisconsin wins. Tom Plum won a Big Ten title two years ago. Doug Ryder heartbroken. His son is knocked off by Wisconsin's Tom Plum. <laughs> He's heartbroken. He's devastated. That's Mr. Ryder. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, the Wisconsin fans are celebratory. Backward. The agony of defeat right there. Oh, you talk about this all the time, Ken, of being a family sport. Never more have we seen it displayed than right there. Father and son, one on the mat, one in the stands, but both with the ultimate emotion. And Tom Klum able to grab a Big Ten championship for Wisconsin. Look at this deal closer right there. That was awesome wrestling. Savvy veteran move. Scrambles comes up on top. A Doug Ryder. Oh. Sent to his knees by Wisconsin's Tom Klum as he watches his son go down to defeat after a thrilling effort between both wrestlers at 133 pounds. Next bout coming up at 141 here on CSTV.